Topol will be able to sneak counter, hit, counter hunting hits in. Yeah. And that really mitigates that risk. I, I've i seen Lucky kind of play a similar style before. Yeah, see, uh, like right now he's definitely, like you can tell, he's definitely going for Nana. Right. Off that split up, it was And when you, when you split them up in the middle of the stage, oh. you can get a free kill on Nana actually solely with Wave Shining, but it's kind of right. hard. And if your execution isn't like super top notch. Yeah. The set that I'm remembering is Hacks versus Nintendo and Pound, where he just did that constantly. Right, and he would actually target switch. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Hacks and Nintendo, yeah, Hacks. Because uh, he went for Popo a fair bit too. Yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. That's how I felt. Nope. Okay. Nintendo DI's in. Oh, okay. This is the running grab. He's got a Nintendo where he wants him right now, more or less. This is pretty. Usually pretty done deal for the, for the Sopo in this Should kind of be. situation. Should be. Popo just has such an awful recovery against Fox. There's literally nothing you can do to, like, get back with side B if they play yeah, their cards just right. Re just refresh back air. Back air, yeah. And then if they make it on the stage, you can, over you can like, run up and up smash. Yeah. It's, like, really bad. Okay, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, See, like, right there. It. That was Damn. really good. Damn. I like how he popped him up with the Nair because you know that Nana's not going to crouch cancel. Right. So you can actually do a Nair shine. Higher percents, you can do Nair forward smash. Okay. And then the Nair will combo into forward smash. And you can, you know, you get a forward smash at 50 or 60. Usually they go off stage. Pretty good. So yeah, Lucky playing nice right now. Yeah, playing well. And like you're saying, just when, when he has Popo, it's just so much, so much easier. You can yeah. be a lot more gutsy with your approaches. I agree. Cause, oh, Because there's not, not much punish. Not much punish. But yeah, that back air is a really oh. strong. Oh my god. Oh so, my god. He could have up smashed uh, Nintendo there. Yeah. I think he was kind of scared because the tip of the hammer just touched him. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was. It was. I think he was like getting ready to almost like DI, and then he's like, oh, I didn't get hit. Right, right. Ooh, good pressure there, splits them up, and he doesn't go too ham. Yeah, when he didn't split him up that first wave shot, he just kind of took a moment to recompose himself, get back to neutral. Yeah. I like it. He's playing well. Drops lower than. Uh, not a great. Edge guard from Nintendo. Nintendo yeah. there, right? He kind of like sacrifices a Nana to get the dash attack on uh, Lucky, which can work out. Oh, and Nana could die here. Yep. Good shine. Oh, not enough hops from Nana. There, I think Diz would have saved his Nana. Okay. That's where I think a Diz kid type player would have saved his Nana. Mm. Uh, so we'll see how this pans out for, for Nintendo. And yeah, uh, Nintendo, I think. Classically very strong with Sopo. Oh, oh my wow. god. Pivot up smash. Very good. Doesn't even trade with the side B. Mm -mm. Um, yeah, Nintendo, I, I, I think of him as a player that's actually very good with Sopo, but uh, yeah, he hasn't been able to do anything with Sopo to Lucky. Lucky's playing the ground game exceptionally well. Especially in that situation when you're down, I think you kind of need to bank on getting Nana every time you can. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, what is happening? Yeah, no, that wasn't a true. He couldn't. There was no wobble set up there. Right. Uh, he wasn't close enough to either side to get the handoff. And I think he re- I don't know, he oh, reacted man. a little- yeah, Lucky's- first of all, Lucky's mashing out really quickly. like a champ. And second of all, um, that handoff setup, like, isn't- there now, th this is a real handoff setup. Right, because you have to be close to the ledge, because then, uh, Nana will throw towards the-, the Yeah, right you see how- the yeah, the last time when Nana did the handoff to Sopo, then Nana had to dash over, and that gave Lucky time to mash up. Right. Because when- when Nana has to dash over, that's when you can't- you, you need to, like, you know, account for that, essentially. Mm -hmm. Up throw there is really, really good. See, now he gets like five full seconds to fight. Not five, but you know, it feels like five seconds to fight Soko. Now this is super winnable for Lucky, but uh, I think Nana's at like 80, right? Nana's at yeah, a really high percent. He's been pummeling Nana for sure. So if he gets like a back air right now, uh, oh no, Lucky! That's the setup, that's Lucky. the setup. Not like that. Yeah. Not like this. Dang. Is that the first? That's is that the first wobble? No, no, not quite. He wobbled him last time, or I guess he just hand off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. First like long wobble setup. Yeah. So Nintendo Ooh. got it, got it where it counted. Yeah. Close game overall, and uh, you know, I uh, I like how Lucky's mostly playing, and Nintendo's keeping it, uh, keeping him very honest. Like he's not able to whip the Sopo. The Sopo exchanges, but uh, yeah, well, he's doing he's doing a good job like with his Nana when when Nana's available. Yeah. All right, so that's an easy Nana kill when you get that shine and she doesn't drop grab the ledge. It's just like the last game. Yeah. Fun fact: when you get a shine on Nana around like you know towards the middle of the stage where she slides for the ledge, uh -huh. if you're fast enough, you can always shine her off stage because um, the CPU won't fast fall and you know when you shine like a Marth, right? And they fast fall and grab the ledge real quick. So uh -huh. like Nana will never do that fast fall. Right. So you can always just shine you her, can, shine her again. If you're fast enough, you can yeah. always shine her again. So you yeah. can actually, if you're like Cyrox, you should always get a kill there mm -hmm. on Nana. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, but it's not that easy. Oh. I just mentioned Cyrus because he's like super, super, super good at it. <laughs> I never see him drop it. Oh, nice. I like the idea, but that was really, really good DI from Nintendo. And I think he smashed the I. Both uh, the drill and the jab. Yeah, well, I think he I think he tried to smash the shine away, mm -hmm. so he couldn't get a so lucky couldn't get a follow up off shine. Right, and that's why he did jab instead. Right, it turned like into a jab. Yeah, and then since he was so far away, he got a shield up. Right, clever from Lucky. Yep. I don't like Lucky taking him back to Dreamland. By the way, I, I get the idea you can camp, but where would you have wanted him to go? Yoshi's or Stadium. Yeah, that kind of makes sense the way Lucky's been playing, which is like super heavy in his yeah. in his face. Yeah. Oh, Aww. he misses the right there when he got the shine near, like right towards the edge of the side platform, and they both slid towards the ledge. That's easy, not a kill. Right. Because uh, only one of them can grab the ledge. So the the one that sometimes Nana grabs the ledge, and that's even better because then you get the shine on Popo, mm -hmm. and then he has to side be recovered by himself, and then you either kill Nana for free with shines, or you can shine Popo's head as he's side being, and then you can't make it back. Got it. So yeah, there's like little moments where I feel like if Lucky was like, I mean, he's so good and he's so fast that he doesn't even need. Ooh. Oh, that was gorgeous. That was super, super good. I think Wispy helped because Wispy actually pushed the shielding I see towards the ledge. Ooh, in the charge, he knows that Nana's just going to jump right there yeah. as soon as she can. Okay. Is this going to cost him, though? Is nah. this going to cost him? No, I don't think I, so. I, no, 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 he's living. Oh. Cause that, looked, that looked really cute. That was such a cute idea. It was a really cute idea. The problem is that if you're at a low enough percent with Fox, you can be without a jump off stage, and Popo literally cannot kill you. Right. Like, That's what it seemed like. He hit him with of, everything. He hit him with, yeah. Like, he did the side B, I guess, as like a last ditch effort, but the back airs alone will not do it. Yeah, yeah. Forward I mean, at that position, won't do it. At that position, he couldn't have it. made back to the stage, so he just was like, and I'm going to side B him. Yeah. He hit him with like all the hits, and it still didn't do it. Yeah, it's not enough. You notice Lucky also DI'd some of the side B hits up. Right, 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 right. Which is really right. good on his part. Right. Not giving him anything. Yeah. TLDR, uh, if you're a low percent with Fox, yeah, just go off stage and kill. Uh, he can up smash. Yeah. Oh, okay, gets the weird hit, but doesn't end up mattering. Good enough. Oh, uh, uh, down smash doesn't come out in time. Yeah, Chokesy's from Nintendo. I think he could have. Yes. You know oh, what I think it was from Nintendo? Nintendo expected him to go straight up. I think. Okay. Because I thought Lucky was going to go straight up. All right, so last stock game again. Uh, Lucky really needs this. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, oh Nintendo no, out, that's like, so unfortunate. Oh. Nintendo, what was he doing blizzarding on that platform? That was basically an SD. Like, I don't know what Nintendo was trying to do, but that was that couldn't have been it. Right. Honestly, um, I was going to say a lot of Lucky's game plan compared to a lot of other Foxes in this matchup. A lot of Foxes will, like, full jump around and try to, like, full jump behind the ICs and do, like, back airs drills. Lucky's very ground-based. He does a lot of running shines, short ops in. Yeah. Um, I think Nintendo could get away with more like Blizzard desyncs, like just like catch Lucky coming in. Yeah, like just huge hitboxes in front of him, like Blizzard would yeah. make a lot of sense. Keep him honest. Oh my oh God! My when he does, it. he does the popo. Yeah. He d Nintendo's popo. Dude, Nintendo when when it matters, he's clutch. That is extremely clutch. You know how many neutral exchanges he had to win to do that? This guy. Yeah, yeah, a lot. Seven. Probably three or four. <laughs> but uh, a lot of good tech chases from Nintendo. Yeah, good tech chases. Unfortunate, good unfortunate for Lucky because he got the break by getting Nana. Yeah, he had a lucky break. And he was, uh, I mean, he was at a low percent. That was like a full stock. Yeah. That had to take. It was just like a one on one. Yeah, Lucky. Uh, I want to see a little bit more like refinement from the way he kills Nana. Because, like, he can make it easier for himself. Oh. But I mean, at the end of the day, you know, he just has to like. I mean, he's getting the kills. He has to clean these up a he little has to bit keep clean faster. Up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Without taking as much percent as he has. Right. Up smash. Yep. Okay. Nice. Nice. That's how it starts. Mm -hmm. Popo, pretty light character. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like Lucky can definitely still win this set if he gets some momentum here. For sure. Yeah. See, like stuff like that where Lucky's short hopping around. Yeah. Especially when uh, they're at low bottom. percent. Yeah. Just get a grab for free. Not worth. Yep. Yeah, I mean, uh, what you're saying is, he, even without like the forward hitboxes that Nintendo's doing, he's still doing a good job, because Lucky's just so in his face yeah. that he's just getting a lot of uh, openings from Lucky just kind of messing up just a little bit. Yeah, that's where the... Because the style See, that Lucky's trying to play is just like really technical, yeah, and you yeah. can't mess up a single thing. Can't mess up a single thing. Right there, he should do slight DI, I think, not full DI. Because getting dash attack, in my opinion, is like the worst move you don't want, because it always combos into grab, basically. 
Got yeah, it. right there he does the blizzard desync. Makes Lucky think twice about dashing in. Damn. There was a moment there too where he got the split up, and I think if he actually went for Popo, I think he could have just got a Shine Spike for free. Uh huh. And he was busy like piling on percent on Nana. Right. And that's like one of those circumstances where I feel like if you're doing a good job looking at what, what's actually going on, you just go for Popo. Right. I don't know. It's, you know, there's different philosophies. It's living. A lot of people play this match a lot of different ways. Back air, yep. Actually, doing that back air in that style where, you know, a lot of foxes will come from below and do the back air, like double jump into them and back air. Uh -huh. And where Lucky did the fall on him with the back air is actually really good because um, ICs can't grab the ledge when they're side being. Right. So you can always uh, drop on them with the back air. And, like, they can't, like, dodge they can't go to the, the ledge. Exactly. They can't. They can't yeah. go to the ledge. I see what you're saying. That makes a lot of sense. So they're kind of committing once they do that uh, side B. Yeah. And Lucky kind of recognizes that. Yeah. Wow, what a... Oh, oh doesn't DI out of the down air. He hasn't done that setup, though, thus far. Yeah. Ten dude, so everybody gets one. Yeah. One might be all he needs. Yeah, especially in this juncture. I don't even know what that word means. <laughs> All right, so Lucky, again, like, close game, but... <sighs> He's playing a playing with fire, nearing at Popo at low percent. That's what I mean, you. dude. Like, his, he's just so high risk, high reward with all his approaches, which would work out really well if he plays perfectly, but... Right, and now, okay, so now, now he needs to open up one of them. I, I, feel, I feel like you pick one and you just stick to it. That works, yeah. yeah. Honestly, having that high percent is really nice. Okay. Yeah. Very good stock from Lucky. He's got to clean it up. Yeah, you can't take any percent right now, which he has been in these purple situations. Yeah. In these purple situations? Yeah. Oh, man, he gets clipped by the side B, but that's okay. Yeah, not a big deal. Not too big a deal. Four, four percent. He thinks twice about jumping in. Oh, he tried to he do the He does the blizzard. And that's the last... Oh, oh and he drops it. the thing. Oh Lucky, my god, Lucky Lucky's trying to down out. there. Lucky's having a flub, flub festival. Oh no. Oh, that's probably it. Ah, uh, man. But he pulled out the blizzard right at the end. Yeah, that's he crazy. did. That's crazy. He did. It's, it's, uh, it's dicey. He conditioned him to not expect the blizzard, and then he did it right at the end. Goddamn. Yeah. That will do it. He gets him, yeah. Lucky out of the tournament at 7. I think that's right. Damn, man. That yeah. was a lot more one-sided than I thought it was going to be. Especially with how well Lucky 